Hi and welcome to the video training of Node.js. In today's video training, we will be learning about video stream with Node.js. So what are streams? Videos work by streaming. This means that instead of sending everything to the front end in a single package, you should send it in little chunks at a time. Sending it by streams would mean that instead of having to wait for the page to download the whole video from the server, before being able to watch it, you can instead request the server for the first few seconds of the video and download the rest while it plays out. You can also use this approach for sending big chunks of text. For example, your client wouldn't have to wait as long for the first few lines of an article to show up. Let's see some theory. Getting the file size. FS in Node has a method called stat sync that will return the stats of the file among those stats it's the file size we need to know when the currently loaded chunk has reached the end of the file you can also use stat in my case i tried to avoid synchronicity to try and keep the code easier to understand for newcomers creating a stream from a file FS contains another method called create read stream which will create a stream given a file the start and end chunks. The size of the chunks. The starting chunk will be made available to you in the request. To figure out how much of the file to load I use this subtraction of the end chunk size. That's not available use the complete file size and the starting chunk size. HTTP 206. This is used for partial content, which is what we want the header for our connection to be. We continuously feed the front end with chunks and we want to have our starting chunk available when a request is made. You have to at least define content range, accept ranges, content length and content type. Let's look at the server and I'm going to create a project directory for this project and I'm going to call node video stream ch mode hyphen r node stream okay let's go into that project directory okay So basically we will be defining a route called video and on this route we will be sending out sample.mp4 file to the front end in chunks and we will be sending in the content range to the browser as well and the response status code will be 206. The head will contain the file size that is the content length and the content type. Let me try to explain the flow. When a request is made, we get the file size and send the first few chunks of the video in the else statement. When we start watching the video by accessing the route via localhost 3000 video or from the front end, subsequent requests are made. This time we with the range in the header so that we know the starting point of our next chunk. Read the file again to create another stream passing along the new value for the start and the end which will most likely be the current part that come came in the request header and the file size of the video. We set our 206 header response to send only part of our newly made stream by applying the formula we talked about earlier. Okay, let's look at the front end. The front end is surprisingly easy with the HTML5 video tag. You just need to add a source route and it will handle the rest for you. The controls attribute allows you to see the player's control. Without it, you can instead program those and other properties yourself by accessing the player element. In this case, the ID video player. So if you have a button on your HTML, you can do something like this to replicate the play stop button. You can add an event listener to that button clicks event and you can pause or unpause the video by clicking the button 
couple of times in the network tab in your developer tools you can see the streaming in chunks especially if you throttle your connection now let's see how this our code works so we are going to create the server first right here let's create server.js so this is our server.js file we are requiring the express module file system module path module and we need to install all of these so let's go to our folder project folder and i'm going to npm init that will create a package.json file and now we need to install express okay that's done let's install the file system module and the path module Okay, that's done here we have defined the video route and here is the sample.mp4 that resides in the same folder as this project you can see the mp4 file here and then we are setting a variable of the that is equal to the size of the file the range of the headers and then we are starting to send the bytes in chunks to the front end you can see the content range accept ranges content length and content type that is being sent to the front end on the port 3000 localhost so let's try to execute our server and you can see it is listening on port 3000 okay let's open 3000 it says no such file or directory index.htm let's look at our code okay okay it's html save the file again and run it it won't work we need to restart the node.js server and let's see now you can see the video is being streamed and if you look at the network tab you can see here media and the status is 206 the headers if you go into the headers it says partial content no refer when downgrade content length is this content range is this video is mp4 So basically the video is being streamed and not loaded being loaded in full so that's how you can create a video streaming server on your own using node.js i was not expecting this to go so smoothly for a simple implementation there are of course some flaws in this implementation such as the starting chunks not always being what is expected probably because of connection hanging as i am not handling that in this code nonetheless i think it is a good starting point for those wanting to start creating some kind of streaming application if you have a better or less error prone approach let me know if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel you can always email me visit my facebook page or linkedin page and i will be always more than happy to help you see you next time with a new topic in node.js